So, uh, island style. So, this section is actually the chorus part. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, starting, so we're going to review that. This is what we learned last week. Um, again, you have your F, F7, B flat 6, and C7. Now, this other third, which we're going to use, it's called the C13. All right, so we'll definitely get to that. Um, strumming patterns, uh, strumming pattern one is all down strums for four beats. One, two, three, four. Um, second pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and then I, you know, if I remember correctly, people like to call that the island strum. You know what I mean? Uh, so down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, all right. So you can definitely go ahead and review uh, that on last week's video. Okay, now here we go. So. <clears throat> So this is the new part that we're going to do, all right? All right, so that's a new part now that you guys heard it. Um, let's go ahead and start with an F, okay? So you're going to hold your F chord. Now with your thumb, you're going to strum down. So this is very basic again we're building foundation building good habits when we're picking our songs okay so go ahead and strum very good now you're going to pick the a string for three beats all right all together one two ready and one two three very good now the next one you're going to move your ring finger to the E string, third fret, all right? And then first finger, first fret. All right, so all together it's going to sound like one, two, three, three, E. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, and. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to add to that next section. Um, so you're going to plug here one extra beat. Okay, so that's one E and then C, second fret, uh, C string. And then open. So one, two, one, two. Okay, here we go. All together, we'll do it slowly. One, two, three, three, one, 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 two, one, two. All right, okay, let's try that again. Take your guys' time with it. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three. Very good, very good. Okay, are you guys good with that? Um, shoot me that thumbs up if you guys are good. Um, again, if you guys are getting any uh, any questions, go ahead and shoot it inside the comments, all right? Buzz on your open A string, any suggestions? So is that with or without you holding? Yeah, so if it's open, then... <coughs> We would have to check on that but if it's holding it could be simply a pressure a situation where you have to apply a little bit more pressure on that a string um or maybe you know there's some movement there maybe you have to get it readjusted that could be another thing too okay now getting back to it here we go so we're gonna do that whole section and then we're gonna add okay one two ready and Two, 
Now the next one you're gonna hold your F chord, and we're just gonna strum. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, and then you're gonna repeat it. So, again. And we'll stop right there. So basically what I did is I re repeated that first section. Repeat, stop, all right, then it's going to change from right there, <clears throat> all right, try this again, one, <clears throat> two, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, one, two, three. So you just repeat that one section. Now we're going to change it, all right? Where we left off, you're going to do 3E again. So 3, 1, open, 1, all right? You guys got that? So 3E, E string, 3rd fret, 1E, open, back down all right so all together it's gonna sound like So that is the verse section of um, Island Style. <clears throat> okay, so let's try it again for the very beginning. For this is the verse, yeah? One, two, ready, and. So what you've seen there is I did that exact same thing and I did it twice, all right? So one of the best things uh, when trying to teach ukulele or, or what I like to do as a teacher is I like to simplify it, okay? So songs have patterns, all right? So every song has a pattern. And when you learn the pattern, when you familiarize yourself with the pattern, it makes it easier for you to break the song down and teach it to anybody who wants to learn. All right, and so that's a trick. So there's one more section that we still need to learn. But for now, we're going to put the chorus that we had learned last week, and we're going to put it together with the verse that we had just learned this week. All right, and so basically, you're pretty much doing the whole song already. Uh, already, And so we just got maybe like one more part to learn, and then you guys should be good to go. All right, so if you guys got any questions, go ahead, uh, shoot me a comment, let me know, and then... <coughs> we will get those answered for you, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna get back into the verse, all right? So this is what we're learning. Um, if there's any questions, let me know, please, and then we'll get those going. But for now, here we go, all right? One, two, ready, F. One, two, three. Repeat all the way through the first half. One, two, three. And then here's the change. Three, three, one, open, one, one, two, three. Do it again. Strum. One, two, three. Three, one. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Okay, so that is your verse. Very simple, all right? So let's go ahead and let's review uh, the chorus. Okay, all right, 
So let's go ahead and let's do that. <clears throat> One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Okay, so that was the whole uh, chorus. All right, so let's go ahead and review that part. All right, starting from your F chord. All right, just in case this is your first time in, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let's try it, strum. Three E, one E, and then second fret C string. Very good. Now you're gonna hold your B flat six. I simply just call it B flat. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, four. All right, so since on that section, since we're on the B flat already, all we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our E string. One, two, three, then C string, open. Very good, and then you're gonna strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right. Okay, so that last section, all you did is kinda like how we just did in the verse. All right, you're gonna strum that F. One, two, three, bum, bum. Three, 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 one, open, F, and then strum. All right, very good. All right, guys, hope you guys are doing good. Let's check in here. You guys got any questions? Go ahead and let me know. Um, but in the meantime, I'll give you guys a minute to practice. All right, go ahead and get that going. Um, also, a quick little reminder, <clears throat> uh, Wednesdays, and I believe it's every Wednesdays now, but you have the amazing Neil Chen, all right? So super, super, super cool guy, amazing ukulele player, fantastic jazz, phenomenal musician, all right? And then on Thursdays, we have the amazing Kupawa, all right? And I think they're coming from Kauai, so it's a beautiful, beautiful vibe that they got going on with the background and everything of home of course you know what i mean you know so it's a wonderful and amazing music all right and then fridays ripping it with brother kainoa kainoa is coming out of texas and he is doing it big you know what i mean so he's amazing so super talented so all you guys have been um supporting all this time mahalo you guys mahalo you guys for uh tuning in every week and supporting our our musicians on on saturdays we're killing it with brother joe joe is super talented okay dude is like he's closing down the week all right and he's getting you going and he's just ripping it every single week I, i've been watching him a lot and and all of his performances as well so good super good all right so that's joe guam and then on sundays you get to hang out with me um for your ukulele lessons but again here's the thing um, it's not just on Sundays uh, because these videos are already on top of the Facebook. So please just come back and then hit review. You know, if you guys can't stay mm -hmm. in for a lesson, no, no problem. Just come back, all right? But we are looking to do um, a challenge pretty soon. We'll probably get you guys more involved, all right? So I want to see um, how you guys are learning, what you guys are learning, how you guys are doing with it, all right? And then, you know, who knows? We'll work out some kind of a contest or anything. All right, for you guys to get involved with. Um, so that'll be pretty cool, okay? So so please keep an eye on that, and then we will let you guys know. But thank you guys all this time for joining in and um, hanging out with our people. All right? All right, okay. <laughs> um, let's get back to Island Style, all right? Okay, so we just uh, went through the whole first half of the chorus. It's just a review. All right. All right. And that's 
that's what we just reviewed. Now the next section will be strumming in F again. Okay, let's try that again okay so go ahead and play along uh, and this is the chorus okay here we go one two ready and Okay, so that is the chorus section. Okay, now let's go back and we're gonna relearn, repractice everything that we just learned in the verse. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Naoko. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, one, two, ready, and F. good okay now um, as we get better at it we're just gonna keep on playing over it over and over um, you know and one of the things about music is repetition is key all right and so one of the most important things is to just go over and over and over again until your body becomes more familiar with with the playing the the way it feels the way it sounds all right <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead back into the the verse, what we just learned. Okay, we're gonna do it together. Here we go. One, two, ready, and start practicing from the chorus into the verse so we're gonna do the chorus two times all right and then we'll get into the the verse two times as well and again this is just for practice sake uh, when we are done learning the intro and then we'll be able to do the whole song all right then you're gonna have your very first instrumental all right all right here we go <clears throat> now so let's go to the chorus on the island okay here we go one, two, F, go. One, two, three, four. Open. Okay, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, three, one, 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 two, one, two, strum.
good, very good, very good. Okay, you guys got any questions? Let me check. Let me check what you guys going on over here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. So if you have any questions, again, pop it in there, and then we'll definitely get it. So, but thank you guys for coming and hanging out. <clears throat> All right. It's always good to take a break as well. Um, if your guys' hands are starting to hurt. Um, you know, one of the most biggest things uh, when learning sometimes could become frustrating. Or sometimes, if we've been playing for a while, um, we just think, oh, that's too beginner, right? But in reality, like I shared earlier, you know, it's about closing that gap, all right? We want to make ukulele as easy and attainable for everybody, okay? So that's one of the biggest things, the hardest parts to do is to kind of blur those lines of beginner, intermediate, and advanced. All right, okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna try this real quick. Um, keep on practicing, I'll give you guys a minute, and then I'll just do a song for you guys. All right, go ahead and work on it. So one of the things I like to do <coughs> in my freestyle practices, To just play and make melodies. to even take um, a song like Island Style that we're learning. And then when you do that, uh, another way to do it is also to take the melody, um, um, take, the, take the melody that you're learning it and then go ahead and just playing with it, all right? Being creative. Um, part, the biggest part of learning is you being creative, you know what I mean? What's that question? Let me check that out. Is it possible to get a PDF of this? Bonnie. Bonnie, I mean, I could, all right? It's something, I'm gonna be very honest, um, it's not something that I teach, you know, like um, tablature. They're good, they're very good, all right? Don't get me wrong. But one of the things that I like to do is to get people to start memorizing, all right? Habits by playing. So I'm not against it. Uh, it's possible I couldn't make one. Yeah, Bonnie, I definitely could could work on making uh, a tablature for everyone. Uh, but uh, in short answer, I don't have one at the moment. So, but it is possible. All right. Um, and again, the thing about it is sometimes as players, as a teacher, I want my students to to really gravitate to it and learn it. And part of it is exercising repetition through playing over and over again, through hearing over and over again, um, and coordination with what is happening, you know what I mean, with your hands. So, but short answer, it's possible, I just gotta make it. Um, but if you notice, considering everything else that I have on here, you notice I didn't have the tablature 
um, posted. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why, okay? Um, yeah, as a teacher, I enjoy my students learning uh, the hard way, which is kind of the way I, I learn, you know? So long term, it's going to definitely benefit you. So uh, shoot me a message though, Bonnie, uh, jonadavis.com, and then I will get that tablature or a form of it out to you, okay? Uh, just give me a couple days, I got to make it, and then I'll make it available to everyone as well, all right? Okay, but that's a great question though. That's a very quite great question. Yes, um, tablatures are good. It's not something that I use often though. Um, when it comes to teaching, uh, ukulele players, uh, just musicians in general, sometimes we become very dependent on paper, uh, on, on keys of that nature. But that's why we break it down into three simple sections so that we can memorize it. All right. Um, okay, here we go. Let's try this part again. All right. So we're going to review the, the verses, which is part two. That's what we learned today. Okay. All right. Here we go. So if it seems like I'm jumping back and forth, it's refreshing, rebooting, refreshing, rebooting, and, you know... Okay, so let's go through that slower just in case. Again, a review. So we're going to strum our F. One, two, three, E string, third fret. First fret, E string. One. Okay, very good. Now we're going to move on. So that next section, you're going to start here with that first, because this is where we left off. First fret, E string, one time, two, one time, two times, sorry, <laughs> and then open. Okay. One, two, three, one, 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 two, one, two. Very good. And then that is one, two, three. Okay, again. One, two, three. Very good. Now the next part, you're going to do that. Same thing. Two, three. And you're going to stop right there. All right, that's where it's going to change. You're going to go three, one open one yeah very good okay let's try that again one two three one one stop this is the second time again three one open one one two three okay very good so we're gonna put it all together here we go one two ready and To the verse that we just learned. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You guys got that is everything good um go ahead and shoot me a thumbs up all right let me know um yeah so the trick 
is getting to memorize and getting as familiar as you can, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna play it a few times and I'll do um, two choruses and then two verses back to back. Now, all I want you guys to do is to go ahead and just play along, all right? That's all you have to do, okay? So one of the best things um, when learning an instrumental, for example, like this, is just repetition, all right? So that's the big giveaway today. That's the big take. The big lesson is repetition, okay? Uh, repetition is key when learning, all right? Um, and again, if it gets too frustrating, I know, I know I've said this in the, the weeks past, and because this is one of the most important things that I live by, if it gets frustrating, put it down. All right, take a break, and then come right back. Just watch, you know what I mean? And then come back and pick it up. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... gonna go back into the course again So let's do the verse one more time, reviewing, one, two, ready, and... basically it for the verse and the chorus of island style all right um so please work on that um and then go ahead and let me know what you guys think is it easy is it hard is it too simple um uh, the other thing um 
when it comes to instrumentals, right? Like this is very much basic, but it's also, again, the key is to break it down, all right? Especially if you're trying to learn something. Take the verse, focus only on the verse. Take the chorus, focus only on the chorus, all right? And then when you break the song down, there's normally maybe three to four components of a song, all right? So you have your intro, which we're gonna work on next week. It's gonna be much more slacky or hot Hawaiian style-ish. So that one might take a little bit longer. So you have your intro, you have your verse, you have your chorus, and then sometimes we have what's called either a bridge, and this is within Hawaiian music especially, or local stuff, or even folk music. There's not a lot of turnarounds, pre-choruses, and all that fancy stuff. It's, it's very simple. All right, so when you have these core components, when you're learning something, when you're trying to figure it out, or even when you're um, you know, being taught it or trying to teach it, all right? For those of us who might be ukulele teachers on here or might be of a club or whatever, just remember the key components, all right? Intro, verse, chorus, sometimes a bridge, all right? If not, it's an outro. All right, so when you break down whatever you're trying to do into these sections, it'll be better for you guys, all right? Um, it'll be easier, much more easier for you to retain, maintain what you learn, um, and also it'll make it easier if you're trying to teach it, all right? And that's the thing, you know? Um, you can all be amazing ukulele players, and that's the key to doing it basic stuff all right all right guys um again special mahalo to our koaloha ohana um for making this possible and mahalo to all of you guys who's been popping in throughout the week who's been watching on the lives every sunday so far you know thank you guys very much for hanging out with me um and let me know what you guys want to learn let me know what you guys are looking for in terms of tips tricks um or even just um, technique all right anything you know just let me know drop it in the comments or you can visit my website and shoot me a message email me um, go to my website and then tell me either a song that you want to learn or a specific technique that you guys want to learn um, so yeah we'll be probably doing some folk music as well um, I love James Taylor I love some classics so we'll probably do some James Taylor eventually all right so we'll be doing everything under the sun all right so I'm totally open to suggestions uh, questions that you guys might have in terms of how to hold how to make uh, the learning experience better you know so let's talk about what's giving you the hardest time as you're trying to learn all right so we can fix all of these things and we can learn together all right all right so yeah that's one of the things so with this song you can actually while you're practicing you can just create the melody yourself and just have fun with it guys so have fun with that thanks for joining me this week i will see you guys again next sunday um 
2 o'clock Hawaii time. Uh, again, shoot me in the comments. Let me know what you guys like. Go ahead, like, and share the video. Um, if you guys have people that you know want to learn, you know, go ahead and invite them, and then let's learn together. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Aloha. Ahoy ho. Have a great rest of the day or evening. All right. Bye-bye. Aloha.